Hey guys, what's up? Fan here again today with another video commentary of an arena match. And what I want to talk about today is how you defeat Ramagos, the Wind War Bear in Arena. Now, Ramagos is one of the most popular, you know, if not the most popular uh, wind monster out there. It's very, very strong, both in uh, arena offense and sometimes arena defense and it's very easy to get your hands on one which is why you know so many different players all have Ramagos on their arena defense team. Now what makes Ramagos so strong is his ability to almost one shot anything when he is you know on low health and the thing that lets him do that of course is going to be his third ability clean shot and basically what clean shot does is you know, once you attack an enemy, uh, you basically inflict the amount of HP you've lost as damage, and when you build Ramagos with only HP, it turns out that, you know, he deals like 20k damage to a single target um, once you fully ruined him out. So it's very, very strong, and that's why uh, so many people are using him. And today I want to talk about how you can beat Ramagos in Arena, and there's, you know, some very simple strategies to beating Ramagos, especially if he's on arena defense. Um, Ramagos on arena offense is very, very powerful, but on arena defense, he's actually quite weak. So what I'm going to show you guys in this video is a match, and you know I'm going to hopefully try and beat this guy with the 6-star Ramagos here, and we'll see how it works out. Now, the strategy for beating Ramagos is basically you want to... Um, leave him for last because Ramagos' other attacks besides clean shot don't do any damage. So basically, you always want to leave him for last and you're going to try and kill off all his teammates and then, you know, get a 4 on 1 or a 3 on 1. So this is very similar to how you deal with Arena. So here you see that I'm just going to cast my spell of strengthening on all my heroes. And I'm going to take out the knight first, the Vagabond uh, Light, because it has a third skill, a passive ability, which decreases damage taken uh, if I attack any other monster. So first, I'm going to try and take that monster out. You can see I'm just nuking it down with everything I have right now. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a crit on it, so I have to spend Extortion to kill him as well. Now, my second turn is coming up, and I'm going to target the damage dealer. Now the damage dealer on his team is going to be the level 40 uh, water ninja, so I'm going to try and take that one out. And basically what's going to happen is, you know, I'm going to use all my abilities on that one water ninja, try and take him out as fast as possible, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking out the water ninja, like I said. just going to use all my damage abilities on it. And, you know, eventually we're going to get to a point where Ramagos is alone, and at that point I can pretty much kill him. Notice that even with an elemental disadvantage, I chose to attack fire into water. Um, that's how important it is to leave Ramagos uh, for last. Even if you have a fire attacker, um, you know, I would rather attack the water, uh, you know, the water creature on my opponent's team rather than the Ramagos. So... Definitely always, always, always leave him at full HP, always leave him for last, and um, that's exactly what I'm doing in this video, as you can see. So this guy had two level 40s, um, and I only have, you know, all my creatures are level 35, so I'm actually a bit disadvantaged. Um, but nevertheless, you can see that if you just properly play out arenas, uh, it's very, very easy to defeat Ramagos. So here, Ramagos is alone because I focused down all the other targets, and basically now I can just turn on autoplay and, you know, in a 4-on-1 situation, uh, it's very rare that Ramagos will win. Now, sometimes Ramagos might win if you have like a weaker team of 4, but um, if you do have that, you might want to, you know, play it out normally. But as you can see here, once you get the Ramagos down to that situation where it's 3-on-1 uh, or 4-on-1, because you focus down everything else, it gets very, very easy to uh, take him down. So next time you see Ramagos in Arena, if you didn't know this already, you know, do not attack him. Even if you have fire attackers, do not attack him until all his teammates are dead. Just leave him at full HP and he won't, you know, he'll bar barely do any damage to you uh, throughout the entire fight. So that is by far the best way to deal with Ramagos uh, in the Arena. 
and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out soon. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.